In this video, we're going to look at how to design living space in the attic. This roof type is also called a one and a half story roof and is used to create a Cape Cod style. We're going to explore three different methods to create this roof style. Let's begin by opening up a plan with a second story, but no roof. I'm going to take a cross section of this home so we can see the structure as we adjust the roof. I'll then set the cross section and the plan view side by side by clicking on the tab that holds the elevation view and dragging it to the side so we can adjust in our plan view and see how it affects the elevation view at the same time. Before we start working on our plan, I want to very briefly discuss our automatic roof tools and how they function. I'm going to open up the Build Roof dialog by going to Build, Roof, Build Roof. This dialog is essentially our roof defaults. We can set things like the default pitch for the roof planes and their overhangs before we even build the roof. I'm not going to change anything, but just select Build Roof Planes and Auto Rebuild Roofs. Having Auto Rebuild Roofs checked means that when I make a change to the house, if I change a wall or raise the ceiling height of a room, or if I update my roof defaults here in this dialog, the roof planes will adjust to follow that change. I'll select OK, and you can see the roof in my elevation view and the roof planes in my plan view. The program will create a hip roof by default, and I would like to create a gable style roof. However, I want to note that it doesn't matter what roof type we're working with. All of the steps we're going over today will work regardless of the style of roof. But I'm going to multi-select these five walls by holding down my control key as I select them, and then I'll change them to gables in my edit toolbar here. They will change to gable walls and therefore create a gable roof. Again, they only change because I have auto rebuild roofs turned on. One note before we get started. It is important that you have a second floor, or a third if you're building living space in the attic above the second floor, before you begin this process. What Chief Architect designates as the attic floor is not livable space. The attic floor in the software will not ever generate a floor or ceiling, and if you go to draw on the attic floor, you'll get a warning and should instead go to Build Floor, Build New Floor, before proceeding with the next steps. So let's start with option one for creating living space in the attic. I'm going to open back up the Build Roof dialog, and on the main roof panel, you'll see a checkbox to ignore top floor. In this case, the second floor. I'll make sure this box is checked, and then select OK. You can see that my roof drops down to bear on my first floor walls. In my plan view, my roof planes are now viewed and edited on the first floor, because that's the floor that is managing the roof. Also, you may have noticed that my roof reverted back to a hip roof, rather than the gable that we did earlier. This is because the roof is no longer getting its directives from the second floor. I would need to select those same walls on the first floor that I want to become gables. Now, if I zoom in here, you can see that the roof truly is bearing entirely on the first floor walls, meaning that it's cutting into my second floor framing. There may be instances where this is the desired outcome, but I'm going to say that for this home, I would like to raise this up and have a knee wall above the flooring. So to do this, I'm going to reopen the Build Roof dialog, and just above the checkbox for ignoring the top floor, there's an option to raise all roof planes. So I'm going to raise them at least as high as my floor framing, about 12 and a half inches, and then add in some amount for a knee wall, 36 inches in total. When I select OK, you can see all of my roof planes raise up that amount. I also could have chosen to not ignore the top floor at all, and simply enter a negative number here to lower the roof planes on the second floor that amount. As you will have noticed, this approach works best when the goal is for all the roof planes in the plan to raise or lower. But the next two approaches assume that we want living space in the attic above the garage, a bonus room, but we want a full second floor over the main house. Here in the Build Roof dialog, I'm going to deselect Ignore Top Floor and make sure that the Auto Rebuild Roofs is still selected. I also need to make sure to zero out the option to raise or lower roof planes. I want them to be bearing directly on the second floor walls and not sitting 36 inches above it. So now, when I select OK, we're back to the roof sitting up above the second floor walls for both the detached garage and the main home. 
As I mentioned earlier, when we have Auto Rebuild Roof selected, it means that the roof is taking its directive from the walls and the ceiling height within the room. So I'm going to use that to our advantage and lower the ceiling height of the garage down. To do this, I'll open up the room by double clicking in it, and under Structure, I'll change my relative ceiling height. The number I'm entering in here is how tall I want my knee walls to be, in this case, 24 inches. Now, when I select OK, you can see the roof in that section lower down to 24 inches off the second floor platform. However, now my flat ceiling is also sitting at 24 inches, so I have two options at this point. I can either open up the room and remove flat ceiling over this room, which will allow the ceiling to simply follow the roof line, or if you still want a flat ceiling, but at a normal height, you can turn off auto rebuild roofs, telling the program that you no longer want any changes to the walls or ceiling to affect the roof, and then raise the ceiling back up. The final method we can use to create a one and a half story roof is to manually lower the ceiling planes themselves. This one is the best method if you have auto rebuild roofs turned off and don't want to turn it back on, since it will undo any manual changes you've made to the roof. For this method, we're going to select all of the roof planes that we want to move up or down. In this case, I'm going to select the roof planes of the main roof, since the garage roof is already in position. I'll select one roof plane, then in my edit toolbar select Marquee Select Similar, and then draw a marquee around the roof planes I want to adjust. Then I'm going to use another tool in my edit toolbar called Transform Replicate. This is a versatile tool, and one of the options in here is to move selected items. In this case, I want to lower the roof planes in the Z direction, so I'll put a negative number in the Z delta box. Then, when I select OK, you can see the change in my elevation view. So, to review, there are several different ways in Chief Architect to create living space under the roof. You can open up the Build Roof dialog and either ignore the top floor or lower the roof a certain distance. You can reduce the ceiling height in the room and then remove the flat ceiling. Or, you can select the roof planes themselves and use Transform Replicate to lower them on the z-axis. If you have dormers in this roof, we also have videos on automatically and manually creating dormers, called Automatic Dormer Tools and Manually Drawing Dormers, so you may want to go and watch those next.